I bet with Internet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Race number seven, 1900 meters the distance. It's an MR70 handicap, which is the penultimate race on the day, 15.35. The time you need to uh, get those uh, last double bets on by. Favorite numbers four and six, both trading at four to one in the market. It's nine to two about Gimme Gorgeous, 11 to two, Bayview Express, seven to one. And uh, better bar those. And it's, uh, yeah, I thought a tricky race. Quite a few horses in with chances. Let's start at the top here with the top two in the market, Corsican and uh, Lucretius. Both come from that form line behind Zacco last time out. And uh, the weights definitely favor number six, Lucretius. He's uh, gone down the two and a half kgs, whereas Corsican has gone up one and a half. So uh, that's a four and a half, four kg turnaround for Lucretius with the likes of Corsican. So he's definitely a horse that can get involved. But I think there are other horses that uh, have lively chances here. Number two, Gimme Gorgeous. Now, he won his maiden last time out beating Don't Stop Me Now. That form line has been franked. Don't Stop Me Now winning. Johnny's Hope winning. Drawn in gate number two straight out the maidens. I think he's a horse that can certainly be competitive and effective on the poly track. On a mark of 73. Just gone up 1.4 winning that maiden. So I think he'll run well. Number seven, Baby Express. The question mark for me has always been the poly track with this individual. I think he could just be a better horse on the turf at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. Last start, I thought a bit disappointing behind Ricardo. He has to carry top weight, top weight once again, but uh, he's definitely a horse that can get involved. And then you've got the likes of uh, Immeasurable, who won three starts back, beating Hatta. He's got a big weight of 61 and a half, so he's not going to have it easy. And uh, yeah, certainly uh, Kanisa and Lela, poly track horse and uh, uh, one that can get involved as well. Maybe just needed his last dot and uh, you can ignore him. But uh, nine runners and nine horses that uh, do have some sort of squeak in this race. Warren, your take on the race, your top choice if you do have one? You, you've, you've touched on the principal contenders. Um, Lucretius and, and Corsican, you mentioned they ran to Zaka. I don't know, what this, this, you know how that form line's sparking up. The computer form says four, four runners, no direct winners. So that is a small worry for me. zacco has been the only positive. He's run yeah. second to Rockfall. I mean, that horse, American Dream. You, I thought he'd win in PE the other day, but he ran a disappointing race. Yeah, so, so safe to say it hasn't sparked up. Yeah, it hasn't. Uh, it hasn't, hasn't sparked hasn't. up hugely, but you're right. Uh, Zacco is the only one that's, that's done that favor to that form line. So that is a small worry, but not a big worry. I mean, you know, form lines are obviously a concern, but you don't want to let form lines put you off completely because we know it changes from race to race. But... Yeah, Corsican and Lucretius, obvious chances. Uh, question master, uh, you know, I'd fancied him on that occasion, but he ran an, a, a dismal race, 12th, uh, fo folded, folded like a cheap deck chair, um, and, and was at the back of the field, but he's more than capable of serving up better than that, so he could be worth including into trifectas and quartets. And then I like your comments on Gimme Gorgeous. Um, I think the team there have found the right race for him to be able to possibly go uh, back to back and it's not easy winning first time out the maidens but it's not the strongest field that's ever been assembled and he's lightly raced and they are of the opinion that he'll go even further than 1900 meters sean veal sticks with the ride so lots of positives a difficult race to answer your question uh, what i can bring to the party is obviously four and six corsican and lucretius obvious each way chances i'm looking for a much better run from question master and probably Gimme Gorgeous is going to be my narrow first choice. Yeah, number two, Gimme Gorgeous. I was just about to ask you, are we, are we going to go with the horse straight out the maidens? And uh, you've answered that question. Yeah, well, we, and, uh, we don't normally do that. Yes, we absolutely. don't normally do that, but, you know, the, the rules... I think he's it. got that come on look about him. Yes, I, I agree with you, and, and that's the reason why I'm going with him. Not a confidence selection, yeah. because first time out the maidens is not easy, and we never normally go with the horse first time out the maidens. But, as you say, sometimes... You know, we changed the goalposts, and this time we are going with the horse first time out the maidens, but with not much confidence. Yeah, that's number two, Gimme Gorgeous, and uh, number six, Lucretius is one that I'll include into the mix, and uh, the two horses that I'll play around, two and six. But for both Warren and myself, our narrow first choice is going to be the horse straight out the maidens, and that's horse number two in race number seven. Uh, my name's Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. 
It was founded back in 2014. The communities we, we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.